Hey everyone, hope you're doing great. Um, today I wanted to read a picture book that is nonfiction, so it has pictures in it, and it is about a real thing. It is called How a House is Built by Gail Gibbons. Um, we are all familiar with what houses are, and there's walls and roofs and sinks and all sorts of things and windows, but how are they built? How are they put together, right? So this is a great way to uh, learn about that. All right. Many people live in houses. There are many kinds of houses. We have a log cabin, a stone house, an adobe house, a cement block house. They are built with different materials. Houses are built in many shapes and sizes too. brick house, glass house, frame house. These all have different different shapes to them. This is how a wood frame house is built. First, the architect draws the plans. We have a person here that draws the plans for the whole house. The architect recommends a general contractor who will be in charge of building the house. During the months ahead, the general contractor will hire all these people to complete the project. The general contractor makes sure everything is done according to schedule. There's the general contractor. And there's the surveyor, heavy equipment operator, foundation builders, well drillers, septic system crew, carpenters, plumbers, mason, electricians, heating specialists, drywall crew, painters, and landscapers. We're going to get into what all those things are, all these different steps for building a house, what these people do. All right. At the construction site, the surveyor measures for the foundation. He hammers wooden stakes into the ground where the corners of the house will be, and a well is being drilled. So they have a they have a, a person that's drilling a well for them for their water. A lot of us we probably have water that is comes from the city, right? The heavy equipment operators come rumbling up the road. They dig a hole where the foundation will go. The foundation will support the weight of the house. The foundation is the thing that's on the bottom of the house that it sits on the it sits on the ground. Um, we have a couple different machines here to dig that dig that hole for the foundation. This must be up north where they're digging something like a basement, right? Here you don't have as many. You, often you don't have that deep of basements because there's an issue with water, right? If you dig a hole here, six feet, ten feet down, there's going to be water coming in. So, all right. Next, the foundation builders arrive. They dig trenches around the edges. Then they line the trenches with boards to make a form. Trucks move into place and pour the concrete. You've probably seen some of these concrete trucks before with that little chute on the back and they can put it right where they need it to go and they could dump in that concrete. And this is like a mold or something. It's called a form and the concrete fills up that area and then they're gonna take those, that wood away and then it looks like this where the concrete's poured. When the concrete is hard, the boards are removed. This is the footing for the foundation. The footing will give the house a firm base. Right? So it's like this deep, strong piece that goes around the border. Then the foundation builders build forms on the footing for the foundation walls. The concrete trucks come and go to fill the forms. The concrete floor of the basement is poured and smoothed over. Right. You've probably seen people doing concrete work and smoothing it out when they put in sidewalks in the neighborhood, maybe. The forms are removed when the concrete is hard. Tar is smoothed on the outside walls so moisture can't get inside. Then the bulldozer pushes or backfills the dirt up against the outside of the foundation. So there's this whole thing that's underground, right? They took those all those boards away, and now it's just this concrete room, right? They put tar on the outside so the moisture can't get in, and then they put the dirt back around it, 
right? So they have this like underground room, this foundation, which also could be like a basement. The septic system crew arrives. They dig a hole and lower a septic tank into it. A pipe goes from the basement to the septic tank. The waste from drains in the house will flow into the septic tank. Here comes the carpenter crew. Out come their tools. They bolt down boards called the sill to the top of the foundation. Then they hammer heavier boards called joists into place. So they put these, these joists across that whole space right there, right? And that's what they're going to build the house on top of. The carpenters nail sheets of plywood to the joists, making what is called a deck. It is the floor of the house. So this is like the part that's underneath the floor. If you look at the floor of your house, underneath that will be these joists that go across with this other stuff on top. And then there's that nice floor. Probably that's the floor of your house. Next, they begin to frame the house. They study the architect's plans. They saw pieces of wood to the correct sizes. They nail together an outside wall of the house. The carpenter crew pushes the wall up and nails it into place. So they kind of lay it down and work on it, and they all push it up like this. And see this space right here? I bet we can guess what's going to be there, probably like a window. Huh. Another wall goes up. And another. Finally, all the walls are in place. Now clearly this is not a, a house that's done, but you, this is just, it's framed out. You can see where there's the space here for the door and some windows. And we have that foundation that happened underneath right there. All right. Now the carpenters frame in the roof. Roof rafters are nailed to the ridge board Soon the framing of the house will be complete. They begin to enclose the house by nailing sheets of plywood to the outside of the frame. This is called sheathing. Then they saw out the spaces for the windows and doors. Felt paper is nailed to the outside of the plywood to keep moisture out. So all along the side of the house, they put this extra material on to keep moisture out. Right. On the roof, a carpenter is busy nailing down shingles. Other carpenters nail clapboard siding to the sides of the house. Day after day, the work continues. So on the roof of the house, they're putting down paper and shingles. And on the side of the house, they're putting on siding. There's different siding on, on different houses. Some, they do this, this first step and then they have this brick that goes on the outside. There's all different types of materials that could be on the outside of a house. And those are all things you could see when you just look at, look at a house. The mason is almost finished building the chimney. Windows and doors are installed. So a mason is a person that does brickwork, that lays the bricks and puts them together, right? He makes that stuff that's called mortar that goes in between the bricks and that kind of sticks them all together. Inside the house, interior walls are nailed into place. An electrician runs wire through the walls to outlets and switches. Plumbers install the pipes that bring water to faucets and carry waste from drains to the septic system. So all the pipes in the house, there's the pipes that go in that carry water into you and the pipes that the one water goes down the drain that take water away from the house. And before they put all the covers on all the walls, they put all the wires in there behind them with switches and outlets and stuff. And then they'll put the covers over that. Insulation is tucked between studs to keep heat inside the house. This is like a blanket that's inside your walls. The drywall crew cuts and nails the drywall into place. They smear joint compound onto drywall joints to make smooth walls. So this, this house here has drywall over the walls. It's like a concrete board. And then they smooth the space in between them. So when they paint it, it's one nice smooth wall. And they have to cut out holes where all the switches are, right? In the outlets and stuff. 
Next, the finished floors are nailed down. Windows and doors are trimmed. The painters paint the walls. All right, so they're putting wood around all the windows and they're painting the walls. They're putting down the nice wood floors over that plywood. Everything is almost done. The electrician hooks up the light fixtures. Cabinets are installed. The plumber puts in the bathtub, toilets, and sinks. The furnace and hot air ducts are installed. So they have their air conditioning and their heaters, right? And all the cabinets in the kitchen and all the light fixtures. When you turn on a light, that thing that hangs on the ceiling and all the sinks, all that stuff. Outside, the landscapers notice that the grass they planted is beginning to grow. So they dig a hole for one or more bush. So they start putting in different things around the house, some flowers and plants, make it look nice. For many months, this has been a very busy place. At last, the work is done. Now the house is ready to become a home. And I know right now you're spending a lot of time at at your house. And it's not just a house, it's your home. It's where you live, right? The wherever you live, if it's an apartment or a house or anything, it's that's where you that's where you get to live and you that's a home. There's a difference between just a house that's any old building and your house. That's your home, right? And look right here, there's all these different it says simple shelters of the past. Many years ago, people lived in caves. Some early shelters were built of earth. This is an earth hut. It's like uh, dirt and mud. Others were made of bark and branches. A grass hut was made of grass and branches. And then an igloo was made using blocks of ice. I think uh, in the media center this year, we already watched a video of a person building an igloo, right? A teepee was made from animal skins and wooden poles. A bamboo shelter was built from bamboo poles and grass and a grass roof. Cloth and wooden poles were used to build tents. All these different things that people would live in. And they're all made from different materials. And I know that you just learned about some of the materials that go into your house, which because you live there is a home, right? I hope you guys are having a great day and um, I'll talk to you later on. Bye bye.